Can you say social? Social. Construction. Of? Reality. Reality, right. Do you know what the social construction of reality is? The social construction of reality is everywhere around us. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, George. <laughs> like others, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot see or smell or taste or touch, a prison for your mind. Unfortunately, you cannot be told what the social construction of reality is. You have to see it for yourself. You take the blue pill. No, nope. just a second. You take the blue pill. You wake up and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you just how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. Take the red one. Take the red one. Take the red one. <laughs> take the red one. <laughs> okay, just take one. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the red one. <laughs> Do you want the blue pill or the red pill? Um, so. The blue one? Are you sure you don't want the red one? Fine. Okay, reach out and take the red one. Follow me. Culture is a system, George. That system is our life. When you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very people that we are trying to wake up. But until we do, they are part of the system. And some of those people are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Are you listening to me, George? Are you looking at the girl in the red dress? Yeah. George, I'm talking about the social construction of reality. George, did you know the difference between boys and girls is socially constructed? Are these boys' toys or girls' toys? Um, boys. Is it because they are violent? Yeah. What about these toys over here? Boy. Um, boy. Is this not a girl's toy? No. Hey, that boy toy. So those are boys' toys? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think all these toys are telling boys? Can you show me a girl's toy? Yeah. Girl toy? Girl toy? Girl toy? I don't get all my birthday yet. So are these girls' toys right here? Yeah. Why are they girls' toys? They're um, babies. Because they're babies? Yeah. Are guns for boys or girls? Boys. Boys? How about dolls? Are they for boys or girls? Girls. Who taught you that? Um, we take a go and I like. So what do you think the message is to girls? Are those for boys or girls? Girls. Girls? Why can't boys wear them? Because social construction of reality? No. I think so. There are two things that let you know that something is socially constructed. Do you know what they are? I don't know. The first is that it seems like it just has to be that way. But then you realize that it doesn't have to be that way. Can you think of things like that that are socially constructed? You know what makes them socially... You need to go pee? Okay. Are you ready? Socially constructed realities are made by all of us. They are not objective realities. You cannot see or feel or touch them. But they are not merely subjective either. 
They are intersubjective, shared between our minds. They are made real or realized by us. Our beliefs and ideas about what is right, true, or possible, they strike us as inevitable. But when we see that they are made real by us, we gain the freedom to remake them. But this freedom comes with a cost. The solid ground of your reality will soften, shake, and crumble beneath your feet. This really is a red pill moment. Over the coming days, we will explore several social constructions, race, disability, individualism, love, and gender. And we will explore the tryout of realization, the way that our beliefs, behaviors, and institutions each shape one another. The best way to see realization in action is to jump outside of our own cultural system. So let's check in with Garrett in Zambia and Amy in Samoa. Check this out, check this out. Carpenters. George, hurry up.